I'm Timothy Shanahan. I'm a professor of urban education at the University of Illinois at Chicago. I was the panel chair for the IES uh, practice guide, Improving Reading Comprehension in Kindergarten through Third Grade. The National Assessment of Educational Progress tells us that a very large percentage of fourth graders are struggling in reading. In fact, more than a quarter of our children don't read well enough to, to do well in school. Uh, it's important that in the primary grades we raise comprehension abilities to a level that allows these children to fully participate academically in, in their school life from, from third grade on. A lot of times teachers believe in these early grades that the only thing that you can really do about reading comprehension is to teach kids enabling skills, that is to help them to decode better. Certainly if you can recognize the words you're more likely to understand what you're reading. Uh, but I think one of the big takeaways from this guide is that, in fact, you can teach children to think more effectively when they're reading uh, in ways that actually improves their ability to remember what they've read or to uh, understand it, or to be able to, to do things with that information. One of the important uh, recommendations uh, or guidances that it's given in, in this guide is that teachers should be teaching children what we refer to as comprehension strategies. What this means is that we want teachers to teach children ways of thinking. Uh, really what to do with your mind when you're reading and, and, and trying to think about a text. So for example, it can be really useful if, if children know how to ask themselves questions and then to try to answer those questions. Uh, you know, children get used to adults doing all of that work for them. And, and so the idea here is that the youngster reads some portion of text and then asks themselves a question about it, tries to answer that question, and of course if they can answer it then they're ready to go on. If they have some trouble answering it, maybe they'll go back and look at the text again and, and think about it a little bit more. But in doing that, and carrying on that kind of a conversation in their, in their mind, they, they come away with more understanding of, of what they've read. When you're teaching reading comprehension, uh, it, text is really important, what we have children read. Obviously, we want you know, high quality text that's interesting and engaging. But it also matters how well it matches up to what you're trying to teach. So it's, it's really important that the teaching match the text and that the text match the teaching. One of the recommendations of the guide is that teachers should teach students how to think about the organizational structure of the text. You know, it's easy to just think about the ideas and you know, what this character is doing or, or you know, the, you know, what the uh, author is telling you about something. But what we're really suggesting is that children learn to sort of step back and look at how the ideas have been organized or sequenced so that they're easier to remember, they're easier to think about. Uh, research shows us, for example, that when children uh, think about uh, stories in a, in a way that represents the plot structure, so thinking about the, the character and the setting and, and what the problem is that the character faces and how he or she attempts to solve the problem and what the outcome of that is, when children start to learn that those structures are there, that th that kind of information should be sought for, they, they become better, uh, under, you know, they get better at understanding the stories, they get better at remembering the stories. Learning to comprehend when you read is hard work for children five to eight years old, and so it's important that the teachers sort of keep them interested in it and keep them excited about it. Motivation really does matter. And in fact, when we reviewed the, the research literature here, we were very pleased to find out that research clearly supported the importance of, of supporting uh, young children's motivation when they were trying to learn to comprehend. Some of the kinds of things that teachers can do to motivate young children's reading comprehension are uh, things like uh, helping children to, to work together. Uh, children love to collaborate on things. They love to, to, to work with others and, and uh, a lot of times reading is, is a lonely uh, kind of a, a process for them. Teachers will send you off to read a book by yourself. Uh, but, you know, to, for, to get really excited, what kids like to do is maybe have a project uh, around a book that they're going to read together or that, uh, you know, get involved in a discussion with the book with a friend. Uh, those kinds of things are, are much more uh, interesting to them. I was a first grade teacher and I can remember vividly uh, just that, you know, that clock is always running and there's so much to accomplish. 
I think one of the things that it's really important to do in terms of reading comprehension is to really set aside time, to really block out uh, the notion that you're going to have maybe 30 minutes to, to work on nothing but reading comprehension. And, and, and if teachers do that, I think it, that, that really helps a lot. I hope that what teachers come away with is that there's, there's more to reading comprehension than just having kids read, that they really, the, the teacher has a, a role to play, and in fact, a very important role to play.